tractor bolt. It smells like that. Gold gin's my favorite. So it's really, really cool. It's the best thing they ever had. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell, which are down there. Subscribe button and the ring down from the belly thing is down there. Get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and the odd occasion, sometimes, we do the Sunday video. What's happened today? Got the ginger guy. I've just done the video about going round the wearing site. Steel, you're gonna see our steel, Dad. There's a lot. There's 38 tons of steel. Ah, I know, it's big. Um, so we've just done that, and then I came back for some lunch. We're gonna look around the Heritage Center. Really impressive place. And also, I'm gonna show Dad the maze, if you remember me passing it a couple of days or weeks ago. And again, you'll see these videos because I have obviously got my wedding, my honeymoon uh, on the island. So what I'm trying to do get some videos up that we've wanted to see for a while we'll go see wearings because like i say it is four turns and you're at wearings it's so close So this is the Heritage Center. The one thing I know is the world is uncertain, it's certainly turning around. Anyone ever done tractor pull? It smells like that. Look at these. Look, Peter, Harry, Andrew. In the Heritage Center, they've got like this meeting center, you'd call it? Yeah, it's called it a meeting group. Um, so they can have talks, projector screens, everything. And this is where me and my dad had the first meeting when we wanted to park our shit up, what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it. Had it onto here, they had it on the projector and we could chat about it. So it's really, really cool. And then what you've got up here is the balcony towards the wearing shed. Look, look at that on the floor. Dad wishes he had this in his garage floor, maybe for his birthday next year. We might just do that as a present. are in the Heritage Center at Waring's and we have Father. Oh. We have Peter Waring and we also have Andrew Waring. How Waring started in 1909. Yeah. Peter and I's grandfather and his brother purchased an existing joiner's wheelwright's undertaker's business in Ray Green. The elder brother George was the sort of clerical and ecclesiastically I believe he even sang in the choir where Peter and I's grandfather tended to be more broad and straight outspoken. <laughs> if he didn't like you, he told you. Yeah. From there, Harry Waring was the second generation, which was Peter and I's father. In 1977, when Peter and I had actually joined the firm, we purchased the Brook Corn Mill. Obviously, as Ray Green developed, the steel fabricator wasn't possibly the most <laughs> <laughs> no, desirable wasn't. industry to have in the village. It didn't take a lot of encouragement to bring us up here. 2005 we moved half of it and the rest about 18 months later. Then decided to build the heritage centre with all the pieces going back. It's all these up. vehicles at one time were in different buildings at Brook Mill and if somebody came they couldn't see them. You were opening doors and stepping over things. So as Andrew said the decision was to build this. Incredible. Where do we start from? The original vehicle we ever bought in this collection is the old ERF there. This one here. So did you guys buy that one? The first real vehicle I think that Father bought here was the steamer. One or two of them we have had from new. I the trader. Uh, the old Thames trader. It's never we had, we had a similar wagon. Yeah. Father was convinced he'd been flogged delivering it by road. So he went to Bradshaw, as at Preston in those days, mm -hmm. said he'd like another one on one condition, but we picked it up. Mm -hmm. And they said, you'll never do it. They said, to your trade plates and a boiler suit, I'm going to send, and he sent me. <laughs> <laughs> they said, it's number 72 in the line. They ran me down, put the trade plates on, I drove out of the gates and weird it. <laughs> yeah. Is it petrol, diesel, diesel? Yeah, in, uh, in the day, it was quite a powerful truck at 125 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was its payload? What would you put on it? It would carry a good seven tons. Uh, whatever you kept putting yeah. on it. Whatever you put on it. <laughs> when, it when, <laughs> <laughs> when it started touching the arches, take a bit off. Craig McIntyre and Katie Walsh, they use it as their wedding car. 
kind permission of wearings let us borrow it because they wanted something totally different and Tash drove it at the time Tash drove, Tash drove it, right there. and he drove it they've got pictures of it and they thought it was the best thing they ever had and he was parked up outside the taps, the taps and, took, yeah. and took McIntyre to his wedding in this and then they took them to the venue at the Ruby Hall so Amazing, this chuck has done a, other duties rather than just wearing it. Yeah, how's that? Peter and I's father's wish that he had his last sort of ride oh, right. on one oh, of his sure. vehicles. And he actually built the body in right. 1964. Right. And in 2000 was taken to well, final we'll have to bring four or five funerals with it, yeah. Oh, really? Wow. If I'm not corrected properly, was it not the, when you first had the uh, business and bought it as an undertaker, you built the coffin for my great grandfather, yeah, his great yeah. grandfather, and built the coffin, or should I say made the coffin, not built yeah. coffin, made the coffin for old grandpa Thomas Pemberton. Do you say grandfather James dealt with Thomas Pemberton? Thomas you, Pemberton, you, yeah. you must be one of the oldest customers we've got. Give Tom we old sales book. We, yeah, we, we, it's 1936. 34. Is it 30? 34. Yes. 1934, sorry I got it wrong in the last video. It it was a chicken coop. Was it for no, no, it was a hay barn. It was a hay barn. Which was a chicken coop? The oh, chicken no, coop no, no, there's, two, there's two entries I found in 34. Yeah. One was to take the hay barn down, dismantle, remove, and move hay barn as quotation £12. Yeah. Pounds. Yeah. And there was about £11.7 and six to build chicken shed with this, that, and the other, an erecting field for Thomas Pemberton. And that was his day to 34 later on in the year. Took one building down and put one building up. Boom, here we go. 80 years later. Yeah, for 24 quid. <laughs> yeah, for 24 quid. I think we've put an order to on by now. Yeah, I think so. Saying how interesting that is, Chris and myself, four generations. Not a lot of companies can say no, that no. the family businesses worked out four generations of him working well, together, can't they? We at the moment are training the fifth. For oh, well, the next vehicle we have eaten, the first wagon my father ever bought was an Austin K4. And one very cold winter's day, I don't know what year it was, it was parked round the back and he told myself and John Robinson, take the cabin everything off it and make it into a farm trailer, which we did. So what's been here ever since the start? You traded your ERF. That one. Endless two. I'm interested in the trucks, the trucks are amazing. Going back to when we started, there's the original circular saw here, slingers of Preston, first welder we ever had. Wow. No one does this anymore, do they? No. They don't, they don't keep it. It's all throwaway. Purchased yeah. in 1950. Obviously stick well, they're not making yeah, it yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, the guillotine, yeah. yeah the first. That actually, locally, has quite a bit of interest because they call it a universe lion worker, where it chops ang lion in the centre, plate at one end and punches at the other. But it originated from Lytham Shipyard. Oh really, what? Down Just Dock Road. Dock Road, yeah. And apparently it's famed to claim it made or Lytham Shipyard were specialists at making bolts for rivers and lakes. The last bolt they ever made is the ferry that goes across from Hawke's Head to Windermere, is it? On, on Windermere, you know the ferry with the wire? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, that was made by Lytham Shipyard in about 1950 something. And that was the last one? Well, it was the last bolt I think they made. And then they also made the African Queen. When father bought that, I think, it either cost fifty pounds in the sale and fifty-five to move it, <laughs> or fifty-five and fifty six to move, to move, move. one hundred and five altogether. It cost in. more to move than it did. Because when we looked before, it was interesting. Yeah. Matt was talking about the machine that they had taken off the machine that was in the corner, mm. and the machine that was in the corner had taken off the machine that was here over fifty years of just development yeah. and development. But the old universal ironwork it was working up to us coming up here first got it, there wasn't electric where they put it, so they bought a Newman tractor, which is that'll probably know a bit better about. And we drove it off a tractor. belt like the old thrasher. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, in winter you had to go and fill it up with water, start the bloody thing with a handle. <laughs> <laughs> One of the original trailers is it? We had two. We had two tipping trailers and the similar. And the last person who had one off us was um, Dave Walker took one to make into something because it was the original uh, wearing trailer. Because of this was like silos with all the trailers were up to about three three and a half tonners with the silage trailers and everything because we had two exactly the same but you see at one time when these were made the common tractor was a Fergie 35 yeah. or oh, 40 yeah, yeah. deck yeah, yeah, 30, yeah. 40 like half 40 none of these big tractors like that big tracks, all you had. three or four ton was heavy enough on the back oh yeah it's amazing what you've got and the trucks and the trailers it's great to be able to see the history of the business going forward and because it's getting bigger and bigger all the time 
Oh, and, yeah. and Andrew and I are known as the grey haired department. Peter knows every building we've put up either has come direct from Waring's, even at Lickers Farm yes. Chipping, or through a associate of Waring's, Walkers. which was Dave Walker. Yeah, well. And he's put loads of all the buildings up at Burke's since my dad's day. Even the cow kennels. It was a nice kennels. vibe you had at Chipping, wasn't it? Oh, it was lovely at Chipping. It was beautiful. It was a, it's a sad loss, that. Don't get me down. No, I bet it was, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, a bloody sad loss. Well, I learned to drive them on very similar. You have a three-speed gearbox and a three-speed Perkins engine. And they were now, they were bad to start and bad to stop. The brakes were hopeless <laughs> and the engine wouldn't start. If you look in that book that Andrew gave you, yeah. the father was very keen on caravanning and he booked the family holiday in Tenby in Wales to go on the Friday night. Wednesday, the Land Rover necked itself. So I went home to my mother. The Land Rover's beyond repair for weekends. What I'm going to do is weld a tow bar in the back of the Trojan van and take the caravan behind the Trojan van. She said, if you think I'm going to Wales in a blue van with Jay Wayne and some contractors on, I'm not. So he painted this van stone colour. He found some old stone <laughs> We went on a holidays, came back and he painted it back blue. <laughs> the one we had, a, a roof rack, and he put the bolt on the top and carried on behind. He was a brave man going to Tenby in that. When we were down there, we went for a ride one afternoon and Andrew and I were in the back. We were other and father in the front and out popped a mouse. <laughs> there was a mouse living in it. <laughs> so we caught this mouse and put it under a hedge in Tenby. I love seeing stuff like this and people watching this YouTube channel I think would appreciate the history of the power by steam not the you have a boiler in the middle like a big arc of cooker yeah I bet and it's warm in there no it's warm and the boss is the fellow that makes the steam fireman he's the boss right yeah so he determines how quick and fast you go and what power you've got about 12 years ago ourselves and 11 more John of Gaulle to Land's Ending what ending? wow took us a fortnight <laughs> <laughs> He's a very relaxing fight. Can you open the door? Get inside, yeah. Sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't That's think. your boiler in the middle there. Ah. Oh, wow. And just put the coal put in the... Put your coal in the bunkers behind you. Yeah. You, you, you light the fire in the boiler there and keep firing it up. And the boiler's just the bit in the bottom bit. You yeah, just open yeah. that up and chuck yeah. it in. Behind you there, you have a big water tank. We'll put the water in to make it steam. <laughs> All steamed engine, look at this inside here. What do you want? They were on top of the job these. And it used to drag a trailer behind it, it used to go to Felix Dome for animal feed every day. Imagine this, this would take some driving, wouldn't it? It's not so bad to drive. As all older trucks they have a bit of a leak, don't they? Oh yeah, we'll get plenty of oil. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive, isn't it, Father? It's super, absolutely super. I remember this. Yeah. If you're Andrew, yeah. the other end is a little shoot ball. Yeah, I've got it. Got it. Yeah, got it. Yeah. That's amazing. We'll play to your pleasure. Please donate to the hospice for filed. Probably raised 18, 20 grand over the years. Yeah. Amazing, hasn't it? Wow. The old fairground rides. Richard Mill tell you more about it. In the middle, before these stereos, record players used to have one of these in the middle. Pretty much every major ride had one of those in the middle. And if they didn't have it in the middle, it was mounted on the outside facing the ride. A massive well, thank you to Peter. Have, we appreciate you giving us the order. Oh, oh we've no. back a long way with the Pembroke. Well, I'd just say a big thank you to hey. Peter and your brother and Chris Best. and the whole Waring family for kind of showing us around here, being really good with me with the new shed because obviously it's a lot of new stuff for me because we've not put a shed up for a few years. No. A few years. So they've been really good to just explain and everything to That's me. Very nice when you want to continue the business on. Yeah, hundred percent. The steels that we saw, I just told Dad we've got thirty-eight mm. ton of steel coming to our place. And that, that's for the one of the buildings, not for the <laughs> silo clamp that's just put up. I bet there's a few tenders done in there. Like I say, a big thank you to Andrew and Peter for giving us the time. Peter is the one who has uh, more to do with the vehicles and stuff. Andrew's obviously involved as well. Andrew's got his big bus that he loves. We could see that one day. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Get back to the tractor and farming video soon. It's just a good way to kind of interlink. And whilst not away, you guys can enjoy stuff as well. Because I appreciate you getting turned up every week so i've got to turn up every week doesn't matter what i'm doing how cool is this guys hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up we'll see you in the next one see ya bye